So Halloween is of course just next week and I've been challenged by Channel Mom to get all my Halloween party bits and bobs from Iceland this year. I've created a really easy food buffet for you to serve up to your guests using some delicious Iceland food. And I'm also gonna show you some really easy and spooky food ideas that you can serve to the kids. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see what we've got. So I'm just back from Iceland and I have to say I'm really impressed with the kind of party food that they have. They have loads of different things for you to serve up to your guests. I was really chuffed in particular to find this ready-made sushi. I never thought this is the kind of thing you get in Iceland. So yeah, really impressed and I can't wait to serve this up to my guests. They also had loads of traditional party food. They have delicious chicken breast strips, sticky chicken skewers, and jumbo tempura prawns. And for the kids, they have loads of food to make some really fun and spooky Halloween inspired snacks, which I'm gonna get started with now. First up are my Boo Nanas. These are so easy to make, and all you need are some bananas and some black gel icing. We just peel the bananas, cut them in half, and then we use the icing to make some eyes and a nose. And there you have it, really simple Boo Nanas. Next up are these really fun clementine pumpkins. Again, super easy to make. All we need are some clementines and some celery. So we just peel the clementines, cut off a little bit of celery, stick it in the middle, and they're ready to serve up. The kids will also go crazy for these spooky cheese eyeballs. For these, we're going to need some baby bell cheese, some black olives, we need ketchup, and some red gel icing. So just take the baby bell out of the packet. We then need to slice the olives into thin rounds, and we're going to place one of the slices of olives onto each baby bell. Into the middle then, we're gonna squirt a little bit of ketchup, that's going to be our eye, and then we're going to use the gel icing to create a kind of bloodshot effect over the rest of the eye. Really simple, but really effective, and I guarantee the kids are gonna love this one. Next up, as a hot snack, we've got some witch's fingers. Now this, again, really easy to make. All we need is one frozen pizza and a red pepper. So just go ahead and cook the pizza according to the package instructions, as you would normally. When it's ready, take it out and then we're going to slice it firstly down the middle and then into thin slices so it kind of looks like fingers. We're then going to chop the pepper into nails and stick each of them onto the end of the pizza fingers. A bit gory but again the kids are gonna love this one. And our last spooky snack is going to be these mummy sausages. Again, really easy to make. All we need are a pack of sausages and some frozen puff pastry. So the puff pastry needs to be left out of the freezer just long enough so it defrosts. We're then going to roll it out and we're going to use a pizza cutter to make very thin strips. Now don't worry if the strips are kind of uneven, different sizes, that's absolutely fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. We'll then place the sausages onto a tray and we're going to wrap the strips of pastry around them. We're then gonna bake them in the oven for about 15 to 17 minutes until the sausages are cooked through and the pastry is lovely and golden brown. Now this bit is totally optional, but if you would like to create some eyes, again, just slice some of those olives into thin strips and place them on the sausages. These mummies make another really spooky and fun addition to your Halloween party. So now that the kids' food is ready, we can serve it up with all the delicious adult party food as well. I've got that delicious sushi that I mentioned. I've got spicy piri-piri fries. I've got chicken breast strips, sticky chicken skewers, and delicious jumbo tempura prawns. I've also got some carrots and cucumber from Iceland, some lovely dips, and even some licorice all sorts, who knew? So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspired you to have your own Halloween party this year. For lots more inspiring ideas, check out channelmom.com forward slash Halloween. And of course, let me know in the comments below what you've got planned for the kids. And I'll see you next time.